In, in the Old Testament, right? Yeah. This is in the book of Isaiah, right? Okay, God yeah. is speaking. Okay. And God is saying, listen to me, Jacob, Israel, who I am called. I am he, I am the first and the last. In the Old Testament, God is speaking. Yeah. In the Surah 57, Allah says he is the first and the last. Okay. And in Revelation 22, verse 18, Jesus says, I am the first and the last. Okay. The open, I, open Isaiah, read it for me, please. Yeah, there is. In Isaiah, it says, listen to me. Can you just hold this for a second? Okay, open it. It says, listen to me, Jacob, Israel, who I have, who I have called. I am the first and I am the last. Do you mind if we go there? It's a bit loud, can't you? Yeah, in Isaiah, it says, 48 verse 2. Listen to me, Jacob, who I have called. I am he. I am the first and I am the last. This is God saying in the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, Jesus Christ says in Revelation 22 verse 13. Yeah. He says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. And in, in the Quran, in Surah 57, Allah says, I am the first and the last as well. Okay. So we can see this is a divine attribute. Um, okay. This, is, this okay. is a divine attribute called um, class okay. to Jesus Christ. Revelations, what is the verse? 22 verse 13. Revelations. 22 verse 13. Eh? One minute, sorry, if I just called my friend. With the camera. There's two cameras here, there's no one on my side. Okay, can you open Hebrews chapter 7 verse 3 please? But can I just call my friend with the camera because there's two here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, he claims in Revelation, Jesus says, I'm the Alpha and Omega. Oh, the Alpha and Omega thing. Yeah, so it's cool. I said Hebrews chapter 7 verse 3, we've got Malchus We're going to add him to the God list. No, there's a better one. Uh, Melchizedek. Yeah, yeah, Hebrews 7 verse 3. Yeah, 7 3. Yeah. Yeah, so they're claiming that he's better. Yeah, he's better. Yeah, he's got no mother and father. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're going to find out. There's no mother and father. What are you saying, brother? Yeah, no problem. Okay. You got your cameraman? No, I don't know where he's going. Okay, right. No problem. All right. So your claim is that because he says he's Alpha and Omega, yes. that makes him divine? That makes him divine, yes. Okay, no problem. Are you, are you, uh, how long have you been a Christian? Just a couple of years now. Not, not a couple of years. What was he before? Muslim. He was a Muslim before? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, can you recite Surah Kawthar for me? Surah Kawthar. Yeah. Okay, good. So let me just get this right. You left Islam for Christianity? Yes. Okay, alright. So let's just get this right. Okay, let's go. Okay. So Alpha and Omega makes him good. When he says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. Perfect. Oh, right, good. This is the attribute okay. in the Old Testament. That's fine. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 3, please. So when you say you were a Muslim, was you a, a, a Sunni Muslim or an Ahmadi? Sunni, Sunni. You're a Sunni Muslim, yeah? Yes, a lot, a lot of people can't take it. I, I, I yeah. left Islam. You have to be out of your mind. I'm, I'm a Why is that? For, I'm a Muslim for 11 years. You have to be out of your mind to go from oneness of God yeah. to believe that God is a man. You have to be out of your mind. No, we, Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And I know that you have zero grounds, but I just want to find out what's the reason. Okay, so let's, cool. we're going to go with your argument. Okay. So Alpha and Omega, no problem. Now go okay. to Hebrews chapter 7 verse 3. In Hebrews chapter 7 verse 3, it says, He is without father or mother. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's, let's go, go, go two verses before. It says, For this Melchizedek, King of Salem, King of Peace, that means King of Peace, right? Priest of the Most High God met Abraham, returned from the slaughter of kindreds and blessed him. Mm. And Mel now your argument is going to be Moses Zedek is not carry Jesus. Moses Zedek was Jesus carry Christ. On, carry on, carry on, he carry is on. Jesus though. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Carry okay, on. and to him Abraham apportioned a tenth part of everything. He is first by translation of his name, King of Righteousness. And then he's also King of Salem, that's King of Peace, which is Jesus Christ. Carry In the on, Old carry Testament, Moses Zedek was known on, as Jesus on. Christ. I don't need you to see it. Carry on. Carry he's on. without father or mother or genealogy. One second, one second, one second, one second, one second. King of peace. Yes. He has no mother. Yes. He has no father. Okay. Does Jesus have a mother? So when Moses did Jesus have a mother? When Moses did Jesus have a mother? When Moses did Jesus have a mother? Did Jesus have a mother? Did Jesus have a mother? Jesus at that time did Jesus have a mother? mother? But in the New Testament, in his human nature, yes. When in the Old Testament, no. Was it? Did Jesus have a mother? In his human nature, yes. Okay, good. So Moses, does he have a father? Okay. Does he have a father? No. 
Does he have a mother? But Jesus in his divine nature does, does he have not a have a biological father. Does he have a mother? mother? Does Malchus no. have a mother? Good. No. Does he have a father? And Jesus doesn't have a biological mother or we'll biological father in his divine nature. Does he have a mother? In his divine nature, does he, have he does mother? not have it. Does he have in a mother? In his divine nature, he does not does have Malchus it. Does Malchus have a mother? In his divine nature, that's does Jesus Christ. Does Malchus have a mother? That is Jesus. If you look at the Old Testament, Jesus revealed himself many times. Does Malchus have a mother? Such as the angel of the Lord. He revealed himself in the bush. And he revealed himself as Moses Eddick. Slowly but surely, we're going to get there. I told you, Moses Eddick is Jesus Christ. We're going to get it out of you. We're going to get it out of you. Okay. Melchizedek, does he have a mother? Melchizedek is Jesus Christ, so he does not have a mother. Does no. have a mother? So when Melchizedek was... Let me explain to you. So when Melchizedek was... I'm asking a simple to, question. I'm asking a simple question. When Melchizedek you was ruled to look, Abraham look, in look, the Old Testament, look, that was fasting, Jesus Christ. I'm fasting, and at that time, he didn't have a mother. I'm but fasting, in the New Testament, yes, he was born for a mother. Listen yes. Does he yes. have a mother? Simple question. I told him, I said to you, no. Good. Does he have a father? No. Thank you. Now, does he have a beginning? Moses Zedek, he's eternal. Does he have a beginning? That's Jesus Christ, I told Does you. Does he have a beginning? Moses Zedek is Jesus Christ. Does he have a beginning? He is Jesus Christ, I have told Does you. Does he have a beginning? John no. 1 -1. What does John 1 -1 say? Does he have a beginning? What does John 1 -1 I, say? I said it to you, Moses Zedek is Jesus Christ. Does he have a beginning? Man, am I speaking a different language? Is Jesus Christ. Does he have a beginning? Who? Melchizedek. I said to you, no, he's eternal. Okay, good. Same as Does Jesus he have Christ. an end? Does he have an end? No, they are eternal. Okay, good. Now, now. A, B, C, see yourself out of it. That's <laughs> right. No, okay. Anyways, now, look, he has no mother, he has no father. No, no, you're playing he games. has no beginning. I have told has, you. No, no. In the man, Old Testament, finish. Jesus came my to friend, many prophets. Me finish, let me finish. Such as the angel of the Lord, such my as friend, the bush. My friend. And when Melchizedek was come to Abraham, that was Jesus Christ. Let, let me finish. That was Jesus Christ. Let me finish. Now, now, his argument was the following. Jesus said, I'm Alpha and Omega, so he's God. I said, okay, no, but let's go with it. We go to Hebrews chapter 7 verse 3, Melchizedek. That's Does Jesus. Have... That is Jesus. I've told you so many times. That is Jesus. Kaif, kaif, kaif. So, I said very clearly, Melchizedek, this is, this is where they get in trouble. He has no mother, he has no father. He has no beginning, he has no end. Okay. Is Melchizedek God? Let me explain to you. Is Melchizedek God? To you. So in his is Old Testament, God? at that time, is Melchizedek Jesus, God? in his divine nature, is did not have a mother God? or father. Is in the New God? Testament, yes, he did have a is mother Melchizedek in God? his human nature. Okay, Melchizedek, is he God? He's Jesus Christ. Jesus look, look. ruled himself as look, Melchizedek, Melchizedek in the Old Testament. God? In the Old Testament, is that was Jesus Christ. Is God? He was Jesus Christ, yes. Okay, good. Now, Jesus is God. Yes. The Holy Spirit is God. The Father is God. Now we have Melchizedek. You, no, 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 no. Listen, the Trinity you're is now semantic. four. One you second. believe Allah's the only thing Muhammad we are for is and the plan no, is for no, white. No, now, can you listen, let me explain? No, no, no. no, no you, you, don't you're touch not, me. You're not. You're not. Don't touch me. You're just putting words in my mouth. Jesus, Holy Spirit, you're putting words in my mouth. And Melchizedek. You're putting words in my mouth. Now, you're putting words in my mouth. Now, <laughs> Melchizedek is Jesus Christ. Do you Jesus see Christ why? Do you see why? Do you see why he finds it so hard? Now, he revealed himself I'm asking as a in the Old Testament. Now, you have to claim that Melchizedek is God, which you did, is good. Now you have four gods, not three You're gods. So now, well, according, according to your view, wait, wait, now, wait, 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 did you pray now, to him? Yeah. Now, why now, do you pray to Muhammad? Now, now, alhamdulillah. You do. Attayatu billahi waslawatu wa tayyibatu. Aslamu alayka ayyubayu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatu. Aslamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi wa alihi. You are a jahil. You are praying to Muhammad as well. You are a jahil. That's how I know you, was, you never even understood Islam. Now, let me ask you a question. Billahi, let me ask you a question. My friend, Abu Jahl, 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 Abu Okay. Abu Jahl is in the fire, so I don't know what you're trying to impress by speaking Arabic. No, no, because you're praying to Muhammad. Listen, listen, that, means, you. that means zero. Praying to Muhammad. So now, that means zero. Now, you're praying to Muhammad. Listen, 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 Great A, Jahil, ignorant. No, no, no. Any Muslims here? We're, we're proud of that. I'm we, proud of that. The Kaaba? I'm we're proud of that. Alhamdulillah, we're proud of that. I'm we're proud of that. The capital punishment. Alhamdulillah, we're proud of that. What? Alhamdulillah. Would he kill me? Alhamdulillah, I'm proud of it. Would he kill me? Alhamdulillah, I'm proud of it. Would he kill me? I'm proud of it. I'm an ex-Muslim. What are you going to do, bruv? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm an ex-Muslim. I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do? I'm proud of it. What are you going to do?
Okay, I forgive you. I pray for you and I love you. This is what Islam teaches. This is what Islam teaches. This is what Islam teaches. Listen, Alhamdulillah. No, but you see what he's saying. Yes, and no, but you see what he's saying. Would he kill me if I'm an ex-Muslim? Yes, Islam teaches. Would he kill me if I'm an ex-Muslim? Yes, Islam teaches. Would he kill me if I'm an ex-Muslim? Would he kill me? Yes, Islam teaches. Would he kill me? Yes, Islam teaches. In Islam, there's a capital punishment. If you live in the Sharia, I will have popcorn and I'll be watching it. You'll kill me. Listen, did I say I'll kill him? Thank you. Now, there is a capital punishment in Islam, and I'm telling you, I am proud of it, bro. You're proud of that? I am proud of it, bro. So Jesus is saying to forgive your enemies, to love your enemies, to pray for your enemies, and you're telling them to kill them. Alhamdulillah, bro. Look at Jesus compared to Muhammad. So now, Jesus taught to forgive. You worship a man. Jesus taught to love. Now, and you're telling your Muhammad to kill an apostate. Nobody buys this anymore. Is that what you're saying? You're killing an apostate? Jesus said love. In Luke 19, verse 27, he teaches love. Now get out of here, man. Man, yeah, these arguments are good. They're 10 years ago. It doesn't work. In Surah people 3, are coming to Islam. The Quran. Do you know why people are coming the to Islam? The disciples of Jesus are of superior to everybody else. You must, you, you must follow us. What are you going to do? We're intolerant. You must follow us. And this is why. You know what's the disciples of Christ are they superior to anybody else. Arguments in Surah 3, and the people are coming to Islam. So you must be following us, Ali. So now, you have to follow you us. You believe God is a man. In Surah 3, you believe? 55. That's why is Jesus God? Is Jesus God? Yes. Okay. Is God, yeah? Did Jesus go to the toilet? In his human nature, yes, because he has to represent us, so he has to do everything that he has to do. Yes, check this out. Check this out. How's it Check this out. God, God had to come and represent us by going to the toilet. Can I tell you why? Can I tell you why? Because. Let me tell you. This. So God went to the toilet to represent us. Because us human beings cannot live a perfect example or prophets or sinners. So, so God, God has to come down because he was So perfect. God has to come down. And he was the only one that So God had to come down. I would have been like, go he toilet. Was the only one that so he had to go toilet. He was made like us, yes. Let me tell you something. Why you? Do you know what's interesting? Look, look. He was made like us, yes. They're so hurt. They can't let me talk. No prophets can live a perfect example of mankind. So God has to come down to represent mankind. In our religion, in our religion, in okay. our religion, God didn't come down. The prophet, peace be upon him, was an example we follow. You guys follow a God. Why that do you follow a sinner? Why do you follow a sinner? So you, you follow, follow a God. I, that follow went to the toilet. I follow Jesus Christ. He was sinless. So God went to you the toilet. You follow Muhammad. You are. You so God went to the toilet. Allah every single so night. So God went to the toilet. In his human nature, he had two natures. How do you? Listen, human listen. Nature. Yes. You need to it's squat. Philippines was two listen, six. You need to squat to go to the toilet. Yeah. No, no, Did no, God do that? That's not a tradition, mate. I didn't do that. I didn't squat. So one second. How do you go to the toilet? One second. How do you defecate? What's the what's the what's the? One second. He defecates in a special way. One second. How do you go to the toilet? Let me tell you. Do you squat? So you would rather follow a sinner than a sinless person. I would rather follow a sinner. Let me tell you. I do not follow. I don't follow a god that went to the toilet. He had two natures. You didn't realize that. He had two natures. So what's the first nature? nature. The first nature is going and to the toilet. When he came down, he humbled himself to, to represent us. So he had to do the things that we did. Bro, you know what? Let me let me okay. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. Is he going to hear Christianity? Is he going to let me explain? Is he going to let me explain? The reason why God. You're ignoramus, bro. Okay, so okay. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you, brother. And he thinks we worship the black Kaaba. You know, Muhammad said you was a Muslim or use a bad language or your fast is invalid. We worship the Kaaba, yeah. You worship Muhammad? Kaaba. When you say, Atayatu Lillahi, Kaaba. Kaaba. Aslam alayka. Blackstone, yeah? Aina bayu wa rahmatullahi barakatu. Aslam alayna wa ala ibadillah. Your family, your family is watching this. You know what, bro? This guy. The reason why we Jesus Christ went to the toilet because he was he humbled himself, right? There's a divine nature. So, God, so God, God became. He humbled man. himself to represent us. So God humbled himself. So he had to do the things we did. He had to do the things we did. Even he's embarrassed. How he's wearing Paris? a mask to show, show his facial recognition. He has to do the things we did. What's, wait, let me just look at this. Bro, what is your point? Ignorance. What's your point? The one who created if the heavens on the earth being, cannot go to it. Do you believe your God blew Mary's vagina? Do you believe in your God blew Mary's vagina? What's the logical That's, inconsistency? Hold up. What's the logical inconsistency with God, Jesus becoming God? The one who created the heavens on the earth, God Almighty is a necessary being. He has no beginning, he has no end. He's self-sufficient. Yes. He in does his not. Nature. Okay. He's you, lived in God. He's lived in God. He's lived in God. You, He's lived in, God. in his nature. Why are you in One second. The bush? One second. For what reason? Second. Are you dependent or dependent when you're having a poo? What? <laughs> are you dependent or independent when you're defecating? Let me explain to you bro, what it means, bro. Can I explain? Guys, to you? Okay, okay, hold on. Let me speak. Are you dependent in, look, or independent human, when you're in the toilet? Yeah, let me speak, answer you. Yes. Dependency and independency mm -hmm. is subscribed to a nature. Because of your nature, yeah. you're dependent. Because of God's nature, He's yeah. independent. Okay, good. Yeah. God. So when you are in the toilet, nature, are you dependent or independent? Dependent. Dependent. Good. Yeah. When you are so in the toilet, human nature, was dependent. When you are in the toilet, human nature, yes. Dependent or independent? Jesus was dependent, dependent on His human nature because when you, he is listen to me as a listen to me. human nature. When you are in the toilet, was in, was you know when dependent. you're in the toilet, defecating. That's why are you Jesus was dependent. He was dependent because He was in His human nature. So in the toilet, He was dependent on cleaning Himself. Jesus was dependent in His human nature. That's why He's dependent. So that's 
Allah has to come. Allah has to come down to his creation to answer prayers. Why is that? Allah has to come down to his creation to answer prayers. Why is that? One minute. Allah has to come down to his creation to answer prayers. Why is that? Why does Allah have to come down to his creation to answer prayers, Ali? Why is it? Can you explain any logical inconsistency at all? Can you can you explain any metaphysical? Carry talking. I want to talk to you. Can you explain any metaphysical inconsistency though? Are you smart enough? Are you good enough? You know, Allah has to come down to his creation every night time to answer prayers. So he is dependent on his creation. Can you explain He's why dependent. God can't become human? Can you explain that? He's limiting God in his nature, what he, can can do, what he can't do. He's limiting God. You are asking big question. He can you explain that? Anything. He's limiting God. He's, oh. been, he's been dismantled today. You are asking big question. <laughs> He don't you know, know he's anything. limiting God because Allah has to come down to his creation every night time. If, so why can't God come down? Jahil, why can't God can come down, Ali? Man. Well, can I ask you a question? Why don't you believe Jesus was God? Why don't you believe in Jesus' resurrection and crucifixion? When there's many disciples who witnessed it, many church fathers, historians who attested to it, then you're a man who comes 600 years later, you never saw the event, who had hallucination from black magic, which is written in your sources. So how can you trust all these other revelations? How can you do it, Ali? Now you're conceding, you don't want to talk. No, no I'm, just he's speechless I'm just following that when he's the enemy is making a fool of himself, just let him talk. Okay, you are so it is written. A smart question from a jahil person. It is written, right? I'll get it up right now. And if he doesn't want to answer this, he has conceded. Alhamdulillah. God goes to the toilet, yeah? He has conceded. <laughs> That's all I need to know, bro. He has Thank conceded, you. my friend. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Even Many people have come to Christianity. Even your Allah was in that toilet. Even your Allah was in that toilet. Even your Allah was in the toilet. He was never a Muslim, bro. Why is that? He was never a Muslim. How do you know him? Where's he? He's a jahil. 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 So what's it? So what's it? So if a Christian goes, there are Orientalists that have members of the Arabic. So what's it? What's it? What's it? You're a child. You're absolutely lost. Oh, you're a Muhammad.